<laughs> Hello. Hi. We have so much to do today. I'm super excited. And by so much to do, I'm absolutely talking about unboxing. I know you guys can already see it. Super exciting. First of all, um, we have two things that we're unboxing today. We have the Mass Effect Legendary Cache. And then secondly, Nuts sent me a goodie bag slash care package, whatever, whatever we want to call this. Um, and it's, it's bigger than a legendary cache. <laughs> it is. Um, I haven't looked at what's inside. All I did is read the note, which I won't be reading on stream, but I'll show you the design because it's so cute. So I haven't looked at what's inside. So everything is going to be the first time I'm seeing everything. So genuine reactions, of course, because that's kind of the brand. <laughs> All right, so. I put my buy flag in it and I forgot. It's huge. So we've got Shep on this side, and then the other side also says, um, relive the legend. So there is a note in here. Ah, oh, it says in seven, congratulations on your graduation. From Captain David Anderson, from Potato Dad. Shepard, when I graduated from the N7 program, I had the honor of meeting Admiral Grissom, the man who inspired me to pursue a career in the service, and I never thought I'd feel prouder in my life. I was mistaken. Don't get me wrong, it was a big day, and an important day. But there's something about welcoming driven young people like yourself into the ranks that's also pretty damn satisfying. Your distinguished service record may have gotten you into this program, but it was your courage, integrity, and tenacity that's enabled you to join an elite few. You represent the best of humanity, and I feel certain you'll make the galaxy a better place. And I'm not the only one who feels this way. Becoming an N7 means the entire system's alliance is telling you one thing. We believe in you. Let me end by saying this. Welcome to the team, Shepard. We know you won't let us down. I'm trying to get it to where it doesn't have the glow, but... <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. God, I'm gonna have so much Mass Effect merch in my home. Also, Pharaoh, thank you for joining our little community. It's a good time to do so. Because this looks cool as shit. I don't know what this is. Oh, there's many tapes. Now, I didn't look at the legendary cache before I bought it. It was just kind of like, oh, hey, <laughs> this looks really cool. I'm going to get it. So this is kind of like a blind, a blind unboxing. Like another huge present. <gasps> what is this? Are you ready? There we go. That's kind of the best. Oh, there. Perfect. If I tilt it a little. The fact that it is Fem Shep that's included in here is so meaningful. This is canvas, by the way. Look how thick this boy is. Like, this is not flimsy, like. Ah, oh, 
I know I already had one thing signed by Jennifer Hale. It's like right here, by the way. You can't see it. But I kind of want another. <laughs> and then we're gonna slide it right over here. This is gonna be fun for me to clean up later. I'm just like showering the room with <laughs> with all the wrapping bits. So here's another bit. Oh, is this the same thing? It feels similar. Comethologia, that's my thought process too, that this is gonna be a dude ship. A bro ship, as Jennifer Hale calls him. Away with you. <gasps> no! Better. It's the Normandy. SR1. I had to check. There, you guys can see it easy if I angle it. This is so great. This is absolutely great. Again, this is the really thick, like, give it a good smack. Oh, look. I put it slightly in the way of my galaxy projector. It looks really cool. The original Normandy. Original. <gasps> I don't know if you guys, there we go. So this is a pin. Oh my god. Okay, so you can spin it whichever one you want. And you pin the one you want in place. Like right here. It's really heavy though, so I don't want it to like pull my robe off. I I like being able to stream on Twitch. <laughs> you can tell but this is raised I want to get my grimy fingers all over it so I'm gonna do a little ASMR <laughs> this is um this is thick plastic I think shiny all the edges are raised on this and then it's got the N7 on the back It's for you to put the game in. Very sharp snap to that. Are we ready? Okay, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> I hope y'all can hear that. So yeah, I don't know if it's on y'all side too. Yeah, the logo is in the foam. And save that for later. I don't know how I'm going to open this, if we're going to be absolutely real. Oh yeah, tap ASMR. <laughs> Half the styrofoam in before, oh shit. This becomes an ASMR channel. It won't. I do voice acting before I did ASMR. Two more sides. Is it successful? Okay, one more.
so you can see the back too. Now, I don't know if you can see inside, but that's padded and with a strap so you can put it on your head. This is, this is really nicely done. There's just a little bit of weathering, so it doesn't look brand new. It looks worn. It's actually really nicely done. Oh no, do y'all want me to put it on? Okay, so I will put it on, give me a second. That was some, that was some good shit. How amazing. All right, you ready nuts? I just want you to know how heavy this is. <laughs> this is legitimately like, 20, 25 pounds? Okay, so first of all, how fucking cute is this card? You don't get to know it's inside, but I wanted you to see it. So the first thing I looked at, the only thing I looked at, um, is we've got these. which looks like this is the order in which I need to read everything. Oh, so it tells you whether or not it's comics, films, books, et cetera, et cetera. This is really cool and really handy. <laughs> Are these, oh, oh my God. One of them is Paragon and one of them is Renegade. Oh my god. Am I gonna have to have a really goofy, like, <laughs> shepherd photo shoot in these? Oh, there's several pairs, actually. I lied. There is one pair. That there's one renegade and one paragon. And that's how you're gonna, like, tell people what kind of decision that you're making. You have to, like, lift one foot in the air. They have the tiny designs on them too. Oh my God, that's so cute. And then of course, oh, I love it. Only the right sock has the stripe. Man, I guess, uh, what, like, Shepard's sleep set confirmed? I don't even know if anyone would care about, like, me cosling Shepard in, in her pajamas. This one. This boy's all wrapped up. <gasps> Wait, what? <gasps> what the fuck? Oh my god. Let me, yeah. Let me get it to where you guys can see. Hold on. It's, oh my God. It's Shepard and Liara. And look, it's got pride colors behind it. Oh, I love this so much. I'm not gonna cry. This is, this is so cute. Nice. Nuts, it's so cute. Okay, many things, many things. Mass Effect Revelation. And that looks like, looks like Saren? Am I right? 
Yes. So this this is basically, if I'm understanding correctly, this is filling in the gaps of what happened to Potato Dad. <gasps> Ooh, and it talks about Kaylee Sanders. Oh, <gasps> wow. They're giving us so much delicious lore. Oh my goodness. Delicious, delicious lore. Oh, the official prequel to the eagerly awaited video game from Bioware. Oh, no, no, I don't think I can read this in time. But Mass Effect Andromeda, Nexus Uprising. I don't want to look too much or read too much because I don't want any of that spoiled. But not that this is a spoiler, but, like, I don't want to find anything out. Yeah, wait to finish the game before reading that. So I'm going to be reading this probably while we play Legendary Edition. Um, and just kind of, like, these as a whole so we can chat about the lore and shit. Ooh. <gasps> Mass Effect Ascension. That's a Quarian. Maybe Tally. Oh man, there's so many. Oh my god, nuts. There's so many. So this one is Mass Effect Andromeda Initiation. This has a lady's face on it that I don't recognize. There we go. So this one is Mass Effect Retribution. I, like, I'm tempted to read the backs, but I'm still a little worried because we, we still have a tiny bit to go in the game. But I have like, you're about to see this stack of books I'm piling up. Ooh, Mass Effect Deception. I don't recognize this lady, but I think, I think that's the elusive man in the background. Mass Effect Andromeda Annihilation. Ooh. <laughs> it says, a sorry sexual. Once you go blue, no other hue will do. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there's so much in here. All right. Wow. It's Bay. It's Bay. Mass Effect Redemption. Oh, from the lead writer. For two. Wow. Oh. Oh, cool. Mass Effect Evolution. Is this a contact war, it looks like? This one is Invasion. Also contains Conviction. Ooh. Mass Effect Homeworld looks like Tally. Mass Effect <gasps> Foundation. <gasps> Wait, is that Ashley? That looks like Ashley. The white and pink armor, you know, because women got to wear pink. <laughs> I'd be much more excited if I caught Caden in that. And then Foundation. Oh, this looks like it takes place in two. Also contains You Who Laughs Best and Eternity Is Forever. <gasps> it's my boy! Oh, it's Thane, it's Thane, it's Thane. This is Foundation Volume 3. The other one was 2, apparently. Sorry, I just got really excited. The only sad thing is that I'm not going to be hearing this red in his voice. 
and I'm sad about that. <laughs> Love so much. Ooh, our favorite bird boy, Garrus. This one's Discovery. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> so, Nuts has printed me off different mixed drinks based on each character the unshackled blast hypnotic and white wine with a dash of blue curacao and champagne to color it'll put you on your knees just like Edie likes you <laughs> Oh my god, this is so good. Oh no. No! This one's called Jilf. Just a car I like to fuck, I'm assuming. It's got champagne, coconut rum, and blue curacao. God damn it, you don't need a code, you just need a Jilf. I don't think she would approve of this. <laughs> the next snap. It's got coconut rum, melon liquor, blue curacao, and finished off with pineapple juice. This drink delivers the snap our favorite assassin is best known for. I love him so much. Ooh. Full biotic kick. <laughs> yes, Thane can snap my neck any day. <laughs> as long as he puts it back. And it's more like a massage technique instead of um, rendering me, you know, lifeless. <laughs> a mix of bourbon, spiced rum, and triple sec finished with ginger beer that more than lives up to its name. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna die doing what I love. <laughs> oh, Kila Solemonade. A mix of Parfait Amour, Mandarin liquor, and vodka, which is every bit as sweet as our favorite Korean. Emergency induction port included, which is a straw joke. The tasty tank bread. We think grunt, like all kids, has a sweet tooth. And with Bailey's coconut rum, butternut schnapps, iced chocolates, and finished with chocolate sauce, crushed cookies and sprinkles, this is one drink that indulges all things sweet. Jesus Christ. It sounds fucking delicious. I think we might have a, a stream where we make these. I'm gonna buy so much liquor I don't need. <laughs> oh, my baby. Consensus. Sambuca and blue curacao with Red Bull. Like, look at this. I just can't read it, sorry. <gasps> the Chief. Combining vodka, chambord, and a dash of lemon, the Chief is a perfect accompaniment to a boomstick or a book of poetry. Perfection. With strawberry, mango, and melon liquors and finished off with a dash of vodka, Oh, and pineapple juice. This martini is both distinctive and powerful, just like Miranda Lawson. That one is great. The Psychotic Biotic. Combining whiskey, bourbon, vodka, and Red Bull with a habanero sauce coating the glass? 
This is one shot that packs a punt. Only make this drink if you are shaved, angry, and enjoy pain. I love her. God, she's such a great character. Rojo Loco. Combining Havana Club dark rum with Chambord, raspberry syrup, and a dash of lime. This is a drink you'd be crazy to pass up. Oh! Eternity. Man, they're doing every companion. Tequila Hypnotic and Parfait Amour. Embrace eternity and risk never waking up again. Mm. Seaside Sunrise. Mango and Mandarin Liquor. Combine with strawberry and lime cider to make a drink that's the perfect accompaniment to a stroll along the beach collecting seashells. Implications? Delicious. The prize. And there's like seven eyes, you gotta say it like that. Spiced rum and a butterscotch. Ooh, of the shop's variety. With honey and brown sugar drizzled around the side of the glass. Finished with milk and a dash of bitters for that sour taste. God damn it. <gasps> Jesse on the rocks. You guys don't remember, this man has a hard on for his weapon that no longer works, that he still keeps around and has a little shrine built to. Now there's a drink for it too. Glen LeVay? Scotch whiskey? Vodka? No extras. What? It's just whiskey and vodka? Nothing fancy, just straight alcohol. That proves rage isn't the only type of anesthetic. Drink this and you won't be feeling anything for a while. <laughs> Zaid, why do you like this? The quad kicker. Spice rum. Bourbon and ginger ale combined with pepper on top and curry powder dusted around the glass to create a shot that'll hit you hard like a Krogan chart. The Enkindler. <laughs> with cherry brandy, scotch, lemon juice, and finish with Coke. This is the drink of choice, the Prothean race. The Shadow Broker Teeny. A perfect blend of Scotch whiskey and blue curacao with a dash of lime and finish with your choice of champagne. The number one drink of all Shadow Brokers since 2185. Last but definitely not least. The Heat Sink with equal part Jägermeister, blue curacao, and, <laughs> and Mountain Dew. <laughs> the heat sink is strong and effective, but it tastes awful. So uh, ingest at your own risk. Nuts, thank you so much. This is an incredibly kind, generous, and considerate care package. Thank you so much. This is... It, the amount of thought you put into this, it's very kind. Thank you. Oh, so hey, I'll go put batteries in this thing if I have some, and then I'll put it back on and we can see what it looks like with that. How's that sound? Does that sound good? blue light here oh and on the back on the side a red it looks so good I 
don't know where to put this now. Where am I gonna put this? Thanks for watching. For more content, you can check out these videos, or my stream on Twitch, or cosplay on Instagram, or my OnlyFans. All the links are in the description. Have a great rest of your day.